welcome back to the show. Um, I'm still like a little starstruck over He's our awesome. last guest. I know, he was cool. He was yeah. really cool. Very down to earth. I think we found that with a lot of the um, bigger stars that we've had on the show is yes. they, they all seem to be very, very down to earth and yeah. su Touchable. refreshingly normal. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because it's more about the craft for them and the art yeah. of, of what they do. It's not so much about being famous or mm -hmm. the everything exactly. that comes with it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, speaking of, last night was the um, season finale of Courtney Loves Dallas. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to have won your first season under your belt? It's good. I'm glad it's over. You are? No, I mean, I'm glad it's over because it's just really emotional when it's airing. You know, there's just a lot. You're getting kind of tugged in a lot of different places. And, and you know, everyone has opinions about decisions that you made a year ago. Yeah. yeah. Um, and everyone says, you know, this is what you should do. And it's like, well, this was filmed 13 months ago. So sure. uh, you're a little late in the game for advice. But um, and yeah. you and Tori are still but people very in general. Tori and I friends. are best friends. We are still best friends. I was with her last night. Um, um, we threw a little a little viewing party last night at um, at the foundation room at House of Blues. Some some of my closest friends were there last night. So my favorite part was when you were trying to decide what to wear to go say I'm sorry. Let's uh, take a look at that clip. What do you not wear when you're saying I'm sorry? You don't wear leopard print. You don't wear black. You don't wear red. You don't wear the color that she looks best in. So I wouldn't wear like orange, turquoise, purple, green, royal blue. What do you wear when you say you're sorry? You wear white. It says I surrender. <laughs> and that is coming off the heels of a big fight that you and Tori got in in the yes. previous episode. Lots Ooh, of was, fighting and hair was pulling. And that <laughs> hair flying everywhere. And, While um, I was in a tiara. <laughs> yeah. That makes fun TV. Do you think that uh, if, if they come to you and say, let's do season two, are you going to be as excited about it? I would, yeah. I would I would definitely do a season two. I think, I think not, you know, everyone goes, well, you don't turn down a season two. But, like, I think there's still a, a lot of this. There's still more story to tell just about what's happened in the past year of my life and just some transitions that I've made professionally and personally. And, you know, we have to give Fancy some airtime. I mean, That's Fancy right. needs she to She doesn't get enough airtime time. around here. I mean, look at her. She needs to. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet girl. Oh. Yeah, look straight into that camera, baby. You're going to make us millions of dollars. <laughs> <laughs> she sees herself. That's hilarious. Look at her. Look at the ears. That's <laughs> Do you like what you see? She's this, for those of y'all at home. She can see her reflection oh right God. underneath the cameras. So um, there's monitors that hang down, and so she can like see herself. <laughs> you know, the interesting thing last night, I'm out of here. I will tell you, Courtney, is sitting there watching it with your mom and watching your mom's reaction to everything that's going on. And um, yeah, that's the first time I've watched one with her. Two yeah. things. She's, I love she's so sweet. watching her because now I adore her. I've gotten to know her a little bit. And I love the advice she gave you as a mother. And I love that you listen to your mom. Because oh, I totally to listen to my mom. Thinking maybe one day my daughter will listen to me as well. Well, I listen to my mom because I think statistically she, she always proves to be right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Smart girl. But I think, you know, I see my mom now, now that I'm older, as a friend. Um, but I still respect her advice as a parent. Mm -hmm. And um, so I, I have the utmost respect for her. And she so has your best interest She does have my best interest at heart and and she knows when I need to swallow my pride and she knows when I need to get off my high horse and she knows when I'm happy and she knows when I'm sad like she can just see those those right. those yeah. um I think what, what you've probably oh. learned too, Courtney, yeah. through this whole process is is how something that you say can be taken out of context. Something oh, you say completely. can be blown out of proportion. And I think um, from on the political side of things, Wendy Davis is really feeling that now. Gosh.